Greetings, Minecrafters. Uh, Arsmalik is back, and <clears throat> I am happy to announce. Now, <clears throat> I'm happy to announce that his lead may have been broken, but I couldn't tell. No, I am about 80% complete with this map. Uh, that is pretty amazing to me. Uh, I'm still in Minecraft 1.7, and I shall be in Minecraft 1.7 until, um, I think until next week. Uh, next week is when <clears throat> Minecraft 1.8 comes out, and that shall be on Tuesday. Actually, I'm recording this on Monday, so that would be tomorrow if all goes well. Uh, from a moying perspective, and I know that it's tomorrow because I was recently a newly appointed host for the Limited Engagement Podcast. Uh, it's a podcast about map reviews, it's a podcast about map making, and uh, highlighting new maps that come out for the community. It's actually quite, quite good. Uh, I've started listening to it a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago uh the the first season let me let me back up the first season was a limited engagement run oh boy there you, now you know why the title is what it is <laughs> uh it was a limited engagement run and uh it was a, a couple guys who <clears throat> are uh who grew up oh, i'm sorry my throat is <clears> throat> Sorry, uh, four guys, uh, awesome guys, who grew up out of the um, PvP map scene for the most part. Uh, I know that's there's more a little bit more to it than just that. Uh, but they grew up out of that scene, and they p have played a ton of adventure maps all the way back to when I started reviewing maps even. And um, they wanted a place to put their reviews and to help grow the community. Which obviously is one of the one of the things that I've been trying to do for the past four years, and um, the way that they discussed maps was just awesome. So I reached out and said, "Hey, this is a great podcast. You know, here's what I do," uh, and and they had basically mostly heard of me, and they were like, "Join us." I was like, "Okay." So. Uh, I did that, and we're having a really nice, a really nice time. Uh, I'm gonna be, I think, I'm gonna be a regular get host in some capacity on season two. Uh, so that's awesome. And um, uh, sorry, straight a little bit from the topic. We talked to Sarge from Moyang on episode ten. So their podcast was a ten. Uh, episode limited series and then they were going to decide if they were going to keep going or not they are uh it's great and you know go when you when the episodes are about two hours each so they can be a little bit long uh in terms of typical podcast uh episodes but i think the format works and um you can you can learn a lot they also have weekly community challenges. So uh, I was a guest on episode nine, and then I'm going to be a regular host starting with season one, episode 10. Now season two, uh, we don't know exactly when we're going to start filming it. We're, we've got, um, actually, I think the day that you're watching this episode, we're having a staff meeting to kind of talk through what we're going to do and when. So uh, that'll be announced. And in the interim, um, I am going to be including some of my map reviews on uh, their newsletter and their site. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to having having this uh, this weekly series start up again for you to enjoy. And I hope you... Oh, you scared the crud out of me, dog. I mean, horse. Don't do that to me. I don't want you to die. I don't want you to die. Um, I am looking for 
<clears throat> I need to make some trip hooks, I think. I need to make some trip hooks, which means I may have to go... Oh, and I need some redstone torches for lighting inside of there. Uh, which means I may need to go... Let me see if I remember how to make a trip hook. Was it something like this? Or was it a stick? Was there a piece of redstone involved? It's been a while since I had to make a trip hook. That's a shovel. Uh, I don't remember how to make a trip hook. But let me let me go over and start... I'm going to start putting together the... No, let's not put that there. Let's put it there. And then, you know what we'll do? Do I have any dirt? We'll take some dirt over to the plane, and I'm going to start sort of... Uh, prototyping, if you will, a little bit of the decoration inside the plane. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to take this this out. I think I may that staircase right there because I don't want players to go in through the side. I want them. There's going to be some NPCs out here. One guy over here by the blocks, um, and then I want them to. I want them to be funneled in through the front of the plane. This is going to be for wood, just so I don't have to go so far. And I think what I'm going to do, let's see how this looks. I think I'm going to alternate. Um, well, I'm going to need a lot of trip hooks in here. Oh, I'm going to need rails for holding down, holding down like piles of stuff. And then what I'm thinking of doing, there will be some jump seats. There will be some cargo, and then there will be some jump seats. And do I want the cargo first or the jump seats first? I think I want, oh, I think I want the cargo up to about here. I want the cargo up to about here. So let's do this. Oh, shoot, I should have made a lot more fence gates. Um, I'm kind of... I had an idea in my mind, but I'm kind of changing it up as you watch. And so that's why this may be a little bit awkward. But I have plenty of stuff to talk about while I, while I do this. So <clears throat> talked about limited engagement talked about the fact that this series is now 80% complete, which is pretty amazing to me uh, in the fact that I feel like I haven't been doing this that long, but at the same time, I feel like it's been, been going forever. <laughs> and uh, I've talked about this before, but a couple of the a couple of the other guys are like Felonius and Cold Fusion, I think, are either done or very close to being done. Uh, which is which is awesome for them. Um gonna need more redstone torches, gonna definitely need more more fences. I think I'm gonna put redstone torches in the cargo area, well, I should put them, I just want them along one side though. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, no, I want them up there. I want them up there. Gonna need to make one more set, I think. Yeah, that's better up there. One, two, three, four. And then do I want to put some actual lighting? Like maybe some glowstone up here? Uh, maybe. Maybe I do. I want to put... 
I want to put something here. And I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think it's going to be... Something like this. I want to separate the, I basically want to separate the cargo from the passenger or the jump seat area. <clears throat> could use, could potentially use hoppers even, but I don't think so. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk about Doctor Who, uh, in, uh, specifically the eighth uh, series, I guess in American terms, of Doctor Who, uh, starring Peter Capaldi as the Doctor, and Jenna Coleman, at least so far, as the, um, as the companion. Uh, there have been, so there will be probably minor spoilers in this part of the, of the discussion. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's do, let's do it like this. Let's do no cargo beyond this point. And we'll do it like that. And we'll say no cargo beyond this point. So, uh, the new ser series season, depending on which country you come from, I guess. Um, let's see, one, hold on one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could put four jump seats or I could put three jump seats. Or I could put I think I want to put three. I think I want to put three and three, and then what I was thinking of doing in between the jump seats uh, is actually putting, in between the jump seats I was actually thinking of putting these ra these fences, or ugh, gates. Uh, I think I will try that. Let's see how it looks. We'll see how it looks in just a second, because I don't necessarily like the gates in the middle there. <clears throat> so, uh, first and foremost, I am enjoying this season of Doctor Who so far. I was skeptical, um, which I think most people were skeptical of what it would be like with the new Doctor being radically different um, than the old Doctors, although in Episode 2, I think you're starting to see him acting more like the traditional Doctor that we're used to, uh, which is good, but I don't necessarily need him to be the same. I'm perfectly fine with this concept of... Um, a darker doctor. I think that's the reason that they put the John Hurt doctor who wasn't called the doctor in. Um, I have a feeling that, gosh, I wish I could put in a different color stare actually. Oh, I know what I can do. I'm going to, I'm going to head back because I want to get some yellow. Oh no, I don't even need to head back. Wait a minute. I don't even need to head back. I can go... I can get it from over here. I want to do some yellow and black carpeting. Like a safety... A safety blocker thingy. Um, yeah, so I've, I like the Doctor so far. In the first episode, I really wasn't too sure, to be honest with you. I was not too sure he was going to be the Doctor for me. Um, but he's, I'm coming around to him. I'm warming up to him 
for sure. And in the second episode, he I'm getting the blend of this dark, serious doctor, this and the goofy doctors. And one one thing that I've actually said in uh, other oh god other uh, venues actually on YouTube is that I was feeling like the Matt Smith doctor and the um, David Tennant doctor uh, and to some degree the Christopher Eccleston doctor but not as much well he started it but they were they were going down this path of getting more and more goofy like as if the doctor was kind of uh, becoming a little nuts and it's interesting to me that they've kind of gone full circle back to the more serious doctor that uh, and by the way, I've never seen any any of the doctors before Christopher Eccleston. I've never watched Tom Baker, uh, Troutman, uh, Sylvester McCoy, I think was one. I've never watched any of those guys. So I don't actually know, I don't actually know what their doctors were like. Uh, and to some degree, maybe that means I can't can't comment on them as much as I might like to. But, um, yeah, I've just never seen them. So I don't necessarily know what they were like. And I don't necessarily know... There we go. That works for me. And I was thinking... I was maybe thinking of putting this here, but it actually won't, won't work. I don't know that it will look right here. Okay, and we're gonna put some kind of doors here. I think the pilot's chamber is is good. I think the pilot's chamber is good. So I need to go and look up how to make a trip hook. And I need to figure out what to do about this side door here. I don't really want this side door open. Although it just seems, it feels, the more, the longer I leave it there, the more natural it actually feels to me. Although the more natural it actually feels, and I feel like I need, oh, there we go. Let's cook this up. I'm going to need this in a minute. One, two, three. Um, I have some issues, I have a lot of issues actually with the first episode of the new Doctor Who. Uh, principally in the fact that I don't believe the way that Jenna Coleman was portraying her character. Uh, I found it to be uh, somewhat difficult to watch, actually, because she was so affected by it, and I feel like she should have been a lot more prepared uh, by it, meaning by his transformation from... Um, Matt Smith into the the new doctor and I feel like she should have been a lot more prepared because of uh, her her story and her understanding of what the doctor has been through before uh, in terms of regenerations and things like that I just didn't buy her shock at him being so young. I just didn't buy it. I couldn't I couldn't get past it. I was like and there were some things in there that I feel like she should not have been she should not have been shocked by given her history with him. So, you know, we'll just we'll just leave it at that. I got to, you know, you look past that. And I didn't really care for the villain. Those uh automaton guys to be honest with you. But get past that. The rest episode was good, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the third episode. I feel like the second episode gets back to a lot of what I like about the original more Doctor Who's, and I don't think we've really seen an episode like that in a while, actually, where the um... gosh, I don't like how this looks. 
I don't like how this looks. It's okay from the front, but it's not okay from the side. Um, I think maybe that's all I'll actually say about Doctor Who for now. I will, uh, I will wait to see what else happens in the series before I uh, comment comment further because I do really enjoy it. I held off watching Doctor Who for a long time as a kid and I had uncles and cousins who were really into it uh, but I just couldn't oh gosh that looks pretty weird that looks pretty weird I couldn't bring myself to watch it. There was something about the fact that it was um, British TV that felt odd to me. Odd and, like, stuffy. Although I used to watch a program called The Third Eye, and I used to watch a bunch of other BBC-type shows on Nickelodeon. So I could never quite rationalize why I didn't, didn't care for Doctor Who back then. Uh, but... I'm glad that I gave it another chance and I really do enjoy it now. So, uh, actually that's probably all I'll say about Doctor Who after all. I don't want to spoil too much and I want to wait till the season gets a little bit more underway and I see what the main themes are um, before I, you know, give it any sort of uh, major discussion or maybe I'll... I'll get someone on like a Sylvanus or or Silvus or Felonius or somebody who's watching it and we can do a we can do a nice Doctor Who voiceover session. We'll see.